Cam is a Netflix original thriller. It's directed by Daniel Goldhaber and Hobe or Hobaber, Goldhaber. God, I can't pronounce that name. Written by Goldhaber and Isa Mazzi. And it stars the, who the f*** this thing star? Madeline Brewer. Holy balls. All right, so what's Cam all about? Cam is about Alice, who also has a screen name, Lola. She's an aspiring Cam girl or Cam model. And her identity is stolen by someone who looks exactly like her. She owns this room or channel and her fans log in and she puts on these shows and she does it for cryptocurrency. So her fans can donate so many coins and for so many coins she'll do something, she'll show some skin. She puts on these provocative, sexy kind of shows. And also her fans, they send her real gifts through the mail and that's pretty much her full-time job. This movie touches pretty heavy on uh, social media and the acceptance. Alice is all about her show. She's driving to be in the top 50 with the top 50 girls. And when she hits in the 50s, she's really excited. She throws these parties. And when she drops below 50, she gets depressed. And you see the toll that takes on her and how much she uh, thrives on that acceptance, that, that wanting to be ranked higher and have that notoriety. When the movie establishes how important this is to Alice, or AKA Lola, when her identity is stolen, it's not just her real identity, it's her alter identity. She tries to log into her channel one night for a show and she can't get on her password. She calls the tech support. She gives an ID. Nothing's matching up. Then she watches the show live and there's this girl that looks exactly like her that basically took over her internet life, her show, and is really successful. And she's going from 50 to 20. She's ranking high because of the stuff she's doing, but it's not actually Alice. That was pretty ingenious. And I like how that all kind of came into play in the film and the effect it had on Alice. And once the identity is stolen, you know, the rest of the film is her trying to figure out what happened. So it becomes kind of this mystery. And she plays this dangerous game where she actually tries to meet up with some of her fans that, you know, are paying her money for these shows. And she's not sure who these guys are. And that's when this, this, this movie really kind of takes hold of you. All right, my favorite parts of the film, uh, Madeline Brewer. Her performance is really good. She carries the movie pretty much. She does a good job doing it. The writing is really good. And there's this tension. There's some scenes that are really extreme and they're really good, but there's a tension throughout that Goldhaber really kind of just builds on. It, you can really feel it. You can feel her angst and her worry. It, it was well done. The other thing I enjoyed about the film is it spent some time with her family until it took. Once her identity is stolen, you know, the mom, the brother, the brother kind of knew a little bit. Mom was clueless, but they find out what she's been doing on camera. Brother's embarrassed. Her mom's not understanding. For the writer to take that time and develop that part of the story really helps in the, you know, the desperation you feel for, for uh, Alice and, and her trying to get you know, this identity back. What I thought could have been better, uh, the ending. Not that the ending was bad, but explaining who or how her identity was stolen was kind of glossed over a little bit for me. I think they could have went a little more in depth about what actually was going on. So that kind of let me scratch my head going, wait, wait, what just happened here? Uh, maybe that was the point of it. So, but yeah, I think a little bit more of an explanation at the end uh, would have served uh, the film a little better. And I don't want to go too far in the end. I don't want to spoil anything. So I'm keeping that kind of vague. But yeah, a little more oomph at the end. Not that it was a bad ending. The ending wasn't a letdown. It was just a little bit different of you know, what I thought the how the movie was going to go. <laughs> I say see it. I really enjoyed it. I think it was listed under horror uh, for Netflix. I could be wrong, but it's more of a thriller. Some unsettling scenes, but it's not like jump scare kind of movie. It's more of a tension built thriller. And yeah, I'd say definitely check it out. If you've seen Can, let me know what you thought. Put your comments below. I'd love to talk about this movie with you. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Hit that like button if you like the, uh, like the content. And until next time, see you around Color Positive Movies.